Damn, y'all moved hella far. Y'all just skipped the room. We made our way down the hallway, and at the end, at, and at, at the end, waiting for us. Hey, hey, guys. <laughs> hey, let's, the gang's all here. What's Nothing's up? up. Nothing. Nothing's left up. Left our room, and it left. Oh. And ended up here. Sigma, let me see that map you found earlier. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, they all lead here, don't they? I guess, I guess we were the last ones out. <laughs> oh. No matter which door we took, all of them led back here. It's the same as the map we found in the lounge. In the lounge? Oh, we found something like that too. Our room was an infirmary. Infirmary? That's so. We found ours in our, in our crew quarters. Yeah. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No. There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. That's right. <laughs> I'll agree. Are all nine, nine of us going to fit in that elevator? Shit, I'll be damned if I have to share an elevator with other people. This is just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them too. The one on the left is green. Uh, that's the right. That's the right side. <laughs> the one in the middle is blue, and the one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? Yes, they are. <laughs> Look, there's a box here. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. Lock, huh? Yeah, these are chromatic doors, huh? Yeah, one budge. Yeah, just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh. No, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. What guess? The numbers have changed. What? Numbers? Oh, yeah. Time, the time left. Looks like two hours, six minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake. You telling me we're going to have to just sit around here for another two hours? <laughs> that is a long time. <laughs> now, what if like, what, what was like two, two minutes and like six seconds? Yeah, looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Clover, how about you show them that note we found? Oh, okay. Uh, hold on. What oh, note? Huh? Was it something about supplementary rules? Because we found a note just like that. It was in the infirmary. Yeah, we found one too. It was in the safe in the crew quarters. Here are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened the door, you can hop through as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I carry carry carrots keep you from going in and out of them. Any color of bracelet can go through them, and as many people as you like. But, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it won't it, it won't let you go back until you solve the puzzle. If that's true, then we can all go back to the way we came and get into the and get into the warehouse. I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. <laughs> right. Like, like we're gonna sit here in front of these three doors for two hours. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key. We found some too. I think so. Good on good enough. That makes six then. One for each A B room. Let's head back to the warehouse. Uh, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? <laughs> if you don't like it, stay here. Right, right. You stay here, Dio. Right. <laughs> Asshole. 
Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. <laughs> well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? <laughs> well, I don't like any of you. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'm going. <laughs> if I must. <laughs> I really thought it was in our room. Going back into those rooms. Well, that's where we all were sleeping, so... And we're back. We were here just 30 minutes ago. Yeah, it was pretty awkward. We had to go about the same way. Yes, I know, game. I was here a few minutes ago. So, this is the crew quarters, huh? Just as the note said, we had no trouble getting in here. That means we can go to the infirmary or the lounge. Yeah, we can check out any of them. <laughs> hey, look, Grandpa! <laughs> Why have we come to this room? We got a poster of a lady in here. It looks like the ones you got back home. <laughs> hmm. This one's pretty hot. <laughs> Tell me, OG, calm down. We're talking at least 14, <laughs> maybe even 15 EU. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Quark, you're a kid. <laughs> sure would like to take it home with me. Unfortunately, I don't think this is really the time for that. Let's keep moving. Whoa, hold on. Grandpa? Since when were they buddies? <laughs> or had they always been that close? In other words, They'd known each other before the, the Nori game. And if Quark was, was calling Timmy up Grandpa, maybe they were even related. Alice and Clover seem to be close too. Just how many of these people knew each other already? Let's go, buddy. I can't wait to get out of here and back to my uh, Grandpa videos. Grandpa videos? <laughs> you mean the ones you keep in the locked cabinet? The, the, shh. Don't be too loud, Quark. You have to say these things quietly. <laughs> quietly. <laughs> Those two are related. <laughs> It's kind of crazy. They look nothing alike. Two, <laughs> two milkman go comedy. <laughs> and you're just there waiting oh, for us. You're finally done. You were taking so long. I hopped off for a little nap. Ah, for yawning? Really? You're just a computer program. <laughs> That's what I was gonna tell you. Like, like this is a pre recorded message. <laughs> Okay, so you record yourself yawning to, to, to do this to us? You don't get tired. Hey, B.O. My temper's got a hair trigger, and you're awfully close to pulling it. So I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Oh, why'd your voice change? Otherwise... Well, you really need me to spell it out. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. Here's your treat. Alrighty, let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Namely, how do you get more BP? <laughs> we go into the AB rooms, right? Look. We got some keys for them right here. K and Quark have two each, so we got six all together. But who goes into what room? <laughs> That doesn't really matter. Anybody can go into any room. But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Makes sense. That is the only way... Is it? Six? Yeah, that's the only way all of us can go into a room. Yes! Yes, yes. What do we do after we go into the room? Play a game. 
just like it says on the door. You play the Ambidex game! Wait, what's Ambidex supposed to mean anyway? I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands, instead of favoring the left or right. But it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. What does duplicitous mean? <laughs> it's a game of betrayal, then. Well, yes, I guess you could put it that way. Then what's the nonary game? Uh, that refers to the whole enchilada. The nonary game is a game where you try to open the number nine door and escape. The Ambidex game is just a mini game to play as part of the larger one. Make sense? Like hell. This shit is confusing. It's like a Mario Party game. <laughs> it's like we get to play mini games in the game. <laughs> but the main game is just to collect stars. Is it? Or is it that you're just a few carrots short of a bushel? What bushel? have a choice. K, Quark, and myself each gave one card to Luna, Alice, and Ten Miyoji. Then we head into the AB rooms. There wasn't really any discussion about who go into which door, but Phi and I found ourselves heading toward the, the leftmost room. <laughs> looks, like looks like everybody else has gone in already. Think we should head into? Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. You're the, you're the one with the card. <laughs> Okay, okay. An Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Polling? What? This game's got a time limit too? Wait. Something wrong? No, nothing. I just... There's no one here. What are you talking about? Of course there isn't anyone here. Well, yeah, I know, I just... Let's get inside. Yeah, right. I mean, no one's here, Sigma. I mean, this is the room we were just in, right? <clears throat> this looks just like the room we woke up in. Yeah. Well, there's one thing that's different. That screen. Yeah, so there's something on it. The Amadex game will now begin. To enter your votes, please touch the star button on your screen. Once you have entered your vote, the door will lock automatically. It will not open again until the polling period has finished. Oh, <laughs> yeah, just like it says. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, you idiot? What? I just pressed the star button. Did you even read what it said? I did. <laughs> Once you press that button, it locks the door for 40 minutes. Well, <laughs> what are we going to do for a whole 40 minutes? Now, thanks to your stupid ass, we're stuck in here for almost an hour. Oh, really? Yes, yes. really. <laughs> Sigma. <laughs> I'm only, Sigma, I've only known you for about three hours, but you really are stupid. <sighs> hey, hey, hey! Looks like everybody's closed their AB gates. <laughs> you mean everybody did it? <laughs> AB gate? AB room, Celine. You're in the AB room right now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be continuing my own investigation. Now, let's get this party started! Let me tell you about the AB game. Since it's a game, you're obviously going to have an opponent. Mm -hmm. It's not like this is a battle royale where you just fight everybody. Each round will be a one on one battle. Mono a mono or mono a womano. Womano? <laughs> there are two people in each pair, aren't there? So it'll be more of a two on one battle, I guess. <laughs> now, I imagine you're all wondering who 
your hot helmet is going to be. It's actually really easy. You'll be competing against whoever you paired up with to go through the chromatic doors. What? <laughs> For example, Ziggy and Fido paired up with Alas and went through the cyan door, didn't they? That means that Ziggy and Fido will be playing against Alas. Oh, no. the other way too. <laughs> so Luna will be fighting Dio and Quark, and Tenmyoji will be fighting K and Clover. Alas's opponent will be Ziggy and Fido. Obviously, that means Potassium and Clever's enemy will be Tenmyoji, and Bo and Quark's enemy will be Mooney. <laughs> What? <laughs> don't get it? Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? All you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! Your BP will go up or down, depending on what you pick. It's a little complicated, and some of you are a little slow. <laughs> so, I made this handy chart. The plus and minus are from your point of view. So, let's say you choose ally, and so does your opponent. You'll get two BP, and so will they. And you'll all get a nice warm, fuzzy feeling inside. Okay. We call that the best pals outcome. Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Next is what you get if you choose ally. But your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose two BP. And they get three. What? <laughs> How does that make any sense? We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. Somebody did that to me. Let's skin them and stew them with some tires. The third choice is the opposite of that. It's when you choose betray, but your nice, innocent opponent chooses ally. This time, you're the one who gets three BP, and they're the one who loses two. We call that the serves them right outcome. Serves them right. <laughs> I mean, what were they thinking? Choosing ally was a stupid choice. And there's nothing for you to feel guilty about. Well, it depends on who's on the other side. <laughs> and finally, the very last scenario. If we all choose betray. <laughs> this is when you choose betray. And so does your opponent. If that happens, neither of you gets or loses anything. Absolutely zero change in BP. Uh, boring. We call this the why even bother outcome. As the game master here, this is the situation I want to avoid the most. <laughs> Guys, let's all do it. <laughs> let's, let's all press the betray button. You're probably wondering about the pairs, aren't you? Let me explain! <laughs> Remember how I told you that both people in a pair share a destiny? Well, that applies here, too. The two of you only get one vote. Oh. You get to choose once between ally or betray. That doesn't mean you split your points, though. You both get three points, or lose two points, or whatever. In other words, what you see on this chart is what you get. Okay then. I think that about does it for the basic rules. And that weighs about 10 minutes, so you got 30 minutes to go. <laughs> Actually, there's a little bit more, but it'll just have to wait, I guess. What? Why does it have to wait? It'll be okay. No, it won't. 30 minutes remain. Hey, all right. <laughs> that took about 10 minutes to do. 
Anyway, I've got to hop along now. Don't do something harebrained and wait until the last minute. You've got plenty of time, so think it out. Bye bye now. You know, thinking about the concept of this game, how the hell are we supposed to like? There's no way to guess what our opponent will pick, right? So. Have a nice trust. Man, what are we going to do? About the AB game. Yeah. Should we choose ally or betray? Yeah, it's a tough call. This is really kind of an interesting game. Seems like it's based on the prisoner's dilemma. What's that? You've never heard of it? It's a thought experiment that uses game theory to examine why people do or don't cooperate. Let's say Apple and Banana have committed a serious crime. Apple and Banana? I just gave them the first names I thought of. Those aren't even names. <laughs> they don't mean anything. Anyway. Apple and Banana are caught by the police and sent off to separate cells far away from one another. In other words, there's no way for them to contact each other. And they're not like telepaths or something. So that's the setup. You following me? Okay. Yeah, keep going. So, a detective shows up. He visits each cell and tells them both exactly the same thing. It goes something like this. You can both clam up if that's what you want. We're gonna have to put you both in the slammer for two years if you do. Now, if you flip on your pal over there, tell me everything. I can get your sentence reduced to one year. That means your buddy will serve 15, but that ain't your problem, right? <laughs> What's well, gonna... Oh, I get one? They get 15 years in jail? <laughs> he decides to spill the beans. It goes the other way. He gets one year, and you get to spend 15 years eating government cheese. Government cheese? <laughs> American sliced cheese? You're probably wondering if both of you can confess. Well, I can shave off a little time for saving me trouble, but you'll still both do 10 years. Damn. So, Puck, what's it gonna be? You gonna give me what I want, or you gonna keep that trap shut? Of course, I told your partner the same thing I just told you. I wonder if you can trust him to keep the cat in the bag. No rush. Give you plenty of time to think about it. So, that's the prisoner's dilemma. Yeah. What would you do? Say you were in apple or banana shoes. Well, hmm. <laughs> if my erstwhile criminal associate banana is going to keep my his mouth shut, then the best choice for me is to spill the beans. That way I only serve one year. But what if he confesses too? Then the smart thing would be for me to do the same. After all, if he cuts the deal and I don't and I don't, then I'll spend fifteen years in prison. If I confess, I can shave five years off of that. Then it seems like the best choice is always going to be to, is to, is to confess. Interesting. But you're forgetting something important. Which that is? That Banana will be thinking the same thing. Hmm. So you'll both confess, and you'll both end up serving ten years. Do you get it? If you both trusted each other, then neither of you would have served more than two years. But because you both made the decision based on your own self-interest, you're going to spend eight more years in prison. In other words, the logical decision leads not only to a less desirable outcome on the group level, but also a pretty shitty situation on the personal level, too. You see now? Huh. So it's kind of like, do you like this person or not? <laughs> do, I, do, I, do I want their trust or don't I? <laughs> the A-B game is... Prisoner's Dilemma. Yeah. They are pretty much the same thing. If we trust Alice, we can both increase our BP by two. But if we don't trust each other, in the long run it won't be it won't benefit either of us. Hmm. Yeah, but this is where it gets interesting. Let's say for a moment all nine of us are on one team. Who would we be playing against? Zero, I guess? <laughs> zero, of course. Right. So we can assume the nine of us are fighting Zero in the AB game. If you look at it that way, what would we want to do to beat him? Betray him? <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Just look at the point totals. Say we all picked ally. What would our total points be? That means we all get <laughs> two times nine, 18, so 18 okay. points. Now let's say one of the pairs chooses Betray. The pair who picked Betray will get three points each, so total they have six points. But the solo they Betray will only have two will have two points subtracted, so the total gain from that game will only be four points. The other two groups would choose Ally for that round, right? Yeah. So for the other teams, they'll you'll get six each, which will give you two times six is twelve plus four, 16 points total. So, what does that tell you? If we consider all nine of us to be on the same team, we need to all, we need to all always choose allies to get the most points. Even if one person chooses to betray, the total points we get goes down. Exactly. In this game, if each individual acts for the benefit of the whole group, everyone benefits. But, if everyone starts looking out for themselves, it'll impact the group negatively. And eventually, it'll impact them negatively too. If all of us choose Betray, then the group gets zero points. Ultimately, nobody benefits. Not even the individual. In other words, selfish but logical decisions hurt everyone. And they hurt you. Hmm. <laughs> okay, this is pretty interesting. So what do we do? Okay, I think I get it. What are you? What you're saying is I should pick ally. No, no. <laughs> I thought you would agree. I won't lie. I mean the opposite. Do you want us to betray? What? You're going to make the most logical choice here. The only option is betray. But what? Why? You just you just explained why there was a ter why that was a terrible no, idea. No, I didn't. It's not the prisoner's solution. It's the prisoner's dilemma. Even though there's an outcome where everybody's happy, the choice you'd have to make for that outcome isn't the rational one. You want to pick it, but you can't. A dilemma. If we choose Ally, and Alice does too, then yes, it'll be great. But... All three of us will get two points. That would be ideal, obviously. And it would help everybody. But... What if Alice chooses Betray? Our BP will go down to one. Right. And if that happens, we're screwed. So... 20 minutes. 20 <laughs> minutes remain until Ambidex game... We were talking for about 10 loses. minutes. I bet Alice already chose her answer already. <laughs> Unless we can be certain that Alice will choose Ally, we don't have a choice. But like... We have it's, to choose Betray. But it's the same situation for her. She, there's no way she knows we chose Ally or Betray. So it's like, what do we do? Unfortunately, we don't have any way to know that for certain. Right, but like... <laughs> that means we have to make the rational choice. Okay, so... Uh, I get it, I get it, but it's like... If we, if we all choose Ally, it does benefit all of us. In a way. I mean, we, we won't get as much points, but like... Would someone want to risk losing points if they think they're if, if they believe that their opponent is going to choose the other option? It would be great to make the right choice, but we can't. Hey, did you just say we're screwed? If you don't mind telling me, what did you mean by that? I'm guessing something happens if our BP is zero, right? I mean, the way you said it sure makes it seem like that, like something's going to happen. <laughs> Just stay quiet, answer my questions. <laughs> do you know something? You do know something. What are you hiding? <laughs> You've been silent for about like a whole two minutes now. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, there's been something weird about you from the moment we met. I mean, for starters, How'd you know my name? Oh, knock it off. <laughs> this is getting old. I don't care if it's getting ancient. This is important. I don't know you, but you seem to know me somehow. The only explanation I can think of that makes any kind of sense is that you're working with what Zero. What about you? What? Are you working with Zero? Me? Why would, why would you think that? You're too calm. 
You wake up trapped in some kind of twisted game <clears throat> that doesn't even phase you? That hardly seems normal. Oh, come on. I can ask you the same thing. Don't change the subject. I mean, I mean, when I woke up, you were just sitting there next to the corner and be like, hey. We're talking about you. I was talking about you first. Maybe <laughs> you actually do know me. What? Where the hell did that come from? Look, I already told you. I've never seen you before in my life. <laughs> Flashback. I mean, what? Sigma, just let it go. Our time's up. This is it. Before, well, before it ends, I wanted to tell you thanks. You know we're about to die, but you still stuck with me. So, thank you, Sigma. Goodbye. What the hell? What? <laughs> what? What was What's that? Wrong? I saw. Saw what? The, the explosion. The explosion? I think there's a bomb somewhere in this building. I'm not sure. But it sounded like they, like it was on a, on a timer. You and I were trying to stop it, but we couldn't do anything and... 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 Whoa! Sigma! Calm down! What are you talking about? <laughs> Girl, I just saw the ending of this game! What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> what is it now? My head... It's... Yeah. You said it hurt when you first woke up in the AB room, too. Well, we did get kidnapped, but... <laughs> It didn't just hurt. It felt like it was going to explode. Are you all right? <laughs> maybe you I think should so. rest a little. Yeah, maybe I could just lay my head on your lap. <laughs> I hate you, Sigma. You you go to serious to being stupid all of a sudden. Of course, I shouldn't have worried. <laughs> Fine, I spent the rest of the time until the door opened in silence. The AB game was forgotten as I tried to make sense of what I had seen. Had it been real in any way? Or was it just a hallucination? Brought on by stress, or maybe some strange drug they dosed me while I was uh, while, while, uh, while I was out. It had seemed real though. Was it a premonition? I had to st stifle, stifle? <laughs> I had to stifle a bark of laughter at, at, at the thought. Seeing the future? That wasn't some crappy. This, this wasn't some crappy sci-fi novel. This was real life. Things like that didn't happen. I was just tired. The stress of the knowing game was probably getting to me more than five thought. I was tired, and I was emotional. The hallucination was strange, but really, it was perfectly understandable. But what if I wasn't losing it? What if I was fine? What if I? What if it hadn't been a hallucination? I sat there for what felt like hours, my mind running in circles. And then we're down to 10 minutes. <laughs> Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Really? That's an option? <laughs> what the hell is that? What? Do you need a translator? <laughs> I mean, I heard if you but... don't vote fast enough, then it'll set your vote to ally. Makes sense? Or do I need to use smaller words? Please do. So, so if you plan to pick ally, then you don't even need to really need to go into the AB room. I guess not. We're already in here, though. Well, we we're kind of forced in here, weren't we? But so, we might as well figure out what we're going to do. What's it going to be, Sigma? Ally or betray? 
Why are you even asking? You made it pretty clear that we should choose Betray. Well, I didn't say should. I just said we didn't really have a choice. <laughs> That's the same it's thing. completely different. The former is an active opinion. The latter is just passive information. Whatever. You still want to betray, yeah. right? And why did you ask me? <laughs> so we never really finished our conversation from earlier. You said that we've been screwed if our BP dropped to one. What did you mean by that? Is something going to happen if our BP gets to zero or something? Can you just answer me five, please? <laughs> we die. What? <laughs> what? If our BP drops to zero, we die. The needles in our bracelets activate. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, how the hell do you know that? Zero never said anything about, the, about I it. I don't know. I swear, I don't. I just... I know somehow. There's just this feeling I've got. Like, that's what'll happen. Oh, come on, that again? You fed me the same line when I asked you why you knew my name. How can you know all these things when there's no way on Earth? <laughs> Wait, did you see what? it? Did you have this? Did you have some sort of, I don't know, premonition? What? <laughs> You're acting crazy, Sigma. What the hell are you talking about? You sounded like a crazy person the first time, too. <laughs> then, you haven't- Seriously, Sigma, are you okay? I think there's something wrong with you. <laughs> let me hit you- let me hit you with the head real quick, it might help. <laughs> this was wrong. Fire was supposed to be acting strange, not me. Instead, here she was asking if I was okay. But, what if it wasn't just her? What if I was losing it too? I groaned. My head felt awful. It was like someone had thrown my brain into a food processor and hit puree. Two minutes left. Minute. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Until Avidex game polling closes. Hey, it's almost time. Yeah, I don't know. What are you gonna pick? If you aren't going to do it, then I... No, I'm fine. I'll You're do it. You're gonna choose Betray, right? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Sigma, really? Alright. <laughs> she don't trust you. <laughs> Just from that one sense. Alright. <laughs> Take it away. 30 seconds remain until Amadex game polling closes. I stood in front of the selection screen and took a deep breath. This is it. I ran, over, I ran over my options one last time. There's only one possible choice. And yet you're giving me the option to do it! Oh, uh, what do I do? Okay. Really enough, I don't know Alice, but I'm going to trust her. Vote has been recorded. Please wait. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you. Oh, well, we are going to see what we chose. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be awkward. Ambidex gates now opening. Hi, did you see what I chose? <laughs> That's fine. I stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. What the hell were you thinking? So you did see what I pushed. Did you hear anything I said? <laughs> Look, I have a game, I have one game under my belt, and it's like, okay, <laughs> hear me out. I know who to trust by now, all right? <laughs> yeah, I was, and yeah, I did. Then? Well, I, I want to believe in Alice. It's not really a rational decision. It was rational enough in my head. <laughs> I know. Yo, what's up? <laughs> I hate this damn rabbit. Siggy! <laughs> Siggy. No. Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Let's go. 
and find out if you made the right choice. Uh, I hope so too. I won't lie. <laughs> All right. In the back of my head, I kind of knew it was wrong, but I still did anyway. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally, let's get ready to rock! And the deck's game! Round one! The results! Come on. <laughs> if everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Where's my picture? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alice, I trusted you! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> and y'all screwed Tenmi OG too? What the hell? <laughs> Here are the results from your game! Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Six, one, oh, that changed our numbers too? <laughs> hey, Alice, what the hell is this? Excuse me, I just made the most rational choice. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. Why? Why did you I do it? I ask you the same question. Why did you do something as stupid as choose ally? Why? Haven't you heard of the prisoner's dilemma? The best thing made so you, you didn't know about it till today. <laughs> the best solution is for all of us to choose ally. All of us, huh? Kay and Clover chose betray too, you know. Yes. I know about the prisoner's dilemma. But everyone picking ally isn't a reasonable outcome. I mean, <laughs> I know it's not, but... Just look at the results for this round. I have faith in you, Alice. I really did. What do they tell yeah, you? Yeah, we, we, we can play, we can play an, an escape room together. <laughs> You're a pretty tender-hearted guy to trust somebody you've just met. Well, maybe tender-headed would be a little more appropriate in this case. Yeah. What? Oh, was that upsetting? My apologies. I'm only trying to warn you. Alice is right. You made a stupid choice. Don't you start to. And thanks to you, our BP is down to one now. God damn it. I set my jaw and... I set my jaw and stopped away from Alice and Phi. My hands had balled themselves into fists when my throat was tight and my, and my eyes stung. Why? Why has she done it? Quark, Dio, and Luna's group on the other hand seem calm, almost happy, because they're the most, they, they all the same thing! Thank you! I'm so happy you chose Ally! No problem. Well, to tell you the truth, Mr. Dio wanted to pick Betray. What? Uh, hey! Yeah, he's seen like a guy to do it. Mr. Dio told me to pick Betray so that we could get three points. He said we could escape together. If we betrayed you, then we'd have six BP. And then, if we betrayed someone in the next round, we'd have nine. Oh, Dio, is this true? No, th that's not what happened at all. Kidding! <laughs> I lied. That was a joke. Mr. Dio would never do something like that. I feel like you're lying, Quark. A joke? Uh, yeah. Man, you, you really had me going there. <laughs> I really surprised you, huh? So you really were planning to choose Ally all along? Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do. <laughs> right, Mr. Dio? Right. Uh, yeah. Nah, one he was lying. Man, fuck Alice. <laughs> fuck Kay and Clover. I understand. I guess I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust, huh? Um, I suppose you could say that. I just didn't really expect you to be so nice about it. 
Clover. The little there had been some sort of argument between K, Clover, and Tenmyoji. Although, whatever it was, seemed to have resolved itself amicably. I'm, I'm low key mad at Alice, bro. Zero, I really when am. Does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got a point. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. I don't know. When I feel Why like not? it. <laughs> the voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right, you are. So, let me just close up. Oh, so we're actually coming back here to do this. The Amadex gates have closed. Round two of the Amadex game will be the moon round. Moon round? Moon cards will be required to open the gates. Moon cards. <laughs> moon cards? That's what I said. Does that mean we can't use these cards anymore? Since they got suns on them? Yes, indeedy. Now. You'll have to look the guards with runes on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? I don't know. As many times as you need to. <laughs> like, until one of you gets nine, it's I guess. I always guess how long it'll go. But I plan on keeping this party going until somebody opens the number nine door. So, it's over when someone gets nine BP. Nope. As long as that person doesn't open the number nine door, the game goes on! Huh. So is it possible for all of us to get 9 BP or of not? Course. You could also get stuck just below 9 BP, where everybody just keeps going back and forth and back and forth and losing points. After all, if there's no money with 9 BP, the door can't open. But we are timed with getting the door open though, right? Yeah. You want to round three, and round four, and round five, round 100, round 2000, you might <laughs> even go all the way up to round 24,897,497. <gasps> Good God, that's a big number. <laughs> I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. I hope it doesn't come to that. I got a better life to go to. <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? I don't know. Can you? There's rules about who can go into the secondary doors, right? Like, you have to have three people exactly? Yeah, so? Well, what about the number nine door? Are there rules? Are the rules the same? No. There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. It could be one person, or two people, or even all nine of you. Uh, <laughs> there is one thing we'll see. All that stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors? What? What do you mean? You can open the door with just one or two people if you want. That's not what you told us. Right, you, you told you told me we had to get the three people. Well, I didn't want to make things complicated. Then explain it now. Just use the bracelets. What? How? There's a sort of scanner between the two rooms. It checks to see if the right people are going through. But... That doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning. No. Oh, it's just scanning the bracelets. So, it's scanning the bracelets then? Ding ding ding! As long as the scanner sees the right combination of bracelets, it doesn't matter how many people there are! But, wait, hold on a minute. Do these things even come oh, off? Yes! They do indeed. How do I take it off? No, I won't tell you. There's two ways. You die or you go through the nine the door. first is to get through the number nine door and escape. Yep, <laughs> yep. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks. Yep, get, the, oh, get through the nine, nine door seven. or you die. What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, oh, B.O. Oh, B.O. I think you all yeah, you all know. What? Do you really want to 
want to get rid of that bracelet. Of course I do. Oh, well, I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You die. Here's an exciting fact. Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, 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 beep. <laughs> when someone dies in a TV show. That was really weird. <laughs> That was really weird to hear for like two, probably three seconds, but whatever. Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away, the lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. I mean, <laughs> your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. <sighs> Apart from that, there is no other way to get the bracelets off. If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you'll be disobeying the rules. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. But if you're lucky, you might get to see a few of them come off during the next round. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I guess it's not going to be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> Next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? <laughs> yeah, 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 I know this already. Somebody might die during the next round of the AB game. There. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be ten Tenmyoti. Or Siggy. Oh, or maybe Fido. Or maybe everyone. <laughs> what? <laughs> why? Mm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized. Just like when you break the rules. You die. You die when you get to I'm zero. Pretty sure, I already told you what the penalty is. You mean the needles in our bracelets are gonna activate and we'll die? Correct, Siggy. Full marks. So, five and right. But how has she known before Zero told us? I see. Phi Sigma and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. Which means next round. If we don't play our cards right, we will die. I took a moment to go over everything in my head. The AV game would continue until someone opened the number nine door. There were no rules about how many people could, could or couldn't pass through the number, number nine door. That meant it was possible for, every, it was possible for everyone to escape. The secondary chromatic door can be opened by any number of people, so as long as you have the right bracelets. The bracelets would only unlock under two conditions. If you left the building, or if your heart stopped. If your BP hits zero, the needles in your bracelet would activate, killing you. Uh oh, one last thing. <coughs> well, one more the thing. The next set of chromatic doors you'll be going through are downstairs. What? <laughs> what, about, what about the ones that we just saw earlier? You already saw them, right? There should have been three. Red. Oh, okay. I'm like, wrong. I'm like, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you're wrong, Zero. I'm pretty sure, we, I'm pretty sure we saw three doors already. That means that to get through, you'll need bracelets in cyan, magenta, and yellow. But wait, you've already got those bracelets. Have a look. The colors changed. Hasn't yeah, the colors changed. Uh, we have yellow now. It did change. I'm yellow now. So am I. Well, fuck you. Me too. Oh. Hmm. It looks like the color wasn't the only thing that changed. And our number. That's our BP. What do you mean? Well, it looks like our groups have changed too. I was a solo last round. Oh uh, yeah, you're a pair now, aren't you? Wait. Really? Mine still says solo. 
Because you're a bitch. <laughs> it looks like Luna and I both changed. You're a pair now? Oh, to who? Solo to pair. I'm the opposite. Oh, fine. You're a solo now? Mine went from pair to solo. No change here. Still a pair. I'm... I guess this must be... Magenta. Are you two magenta too? Uh-huh. Yeah. Quark, Clover, what? and I are Cyan. I think Mr. K and I are pairs. And Miss Clover is a solo? Looks like it. Yeah. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. Wait, is it by random or is it just like is, is there a is there like a, a requirement to know who who gets, who gets to be picked? The parent solo assignments hop around a bit too. And of course, it's <laughs> Really? Totally That's bullshit. Random. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. No rules or anything. Now, with all of that explained, I must bid you adieu. Sadly, we may never meet again. We may never meet again. Lies. What? <laughs> well, there's not really anything for me to facilitate anymore. I mean, you guys are good from here. I'll never, I'll never forget you. <laughs> see you guys again. I hate him. <laughs> Did you really think I was gonna cry? <laughs> Suckers! <laughs> As if I'd cry over you dummies! Can you just leave your. <laughs> what the? You fucking dick! <laughs> But I'm always watching. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Maybe. Have a nice tragedy. That little piece of shit. If I could just get my hands on that little fucker, I'd squeeze him till he popped. I agree. <laughs> That sounds gross. I don't really want to think about it. Um, so. Um, so we gotta figure out our, our pairs now, alright? What happens now? We've still got a while until the chromatic doors open. What, we just wait for like a whole nother hour? Yeah. Looks like about 42 minutes. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. If there's a chance Zero missed something. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking. I'll and agree, but nothing, you know. we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections? There were none. There's some nods and, and mummers. Sorry, uh, everyone slid up and moved off to investigate. I was the only person who stayed behind. Damn. How the hell did I end up here? Why? Why me? Try as I might, I couldn't think of anything I'd done that could have landed me in Zero's game. I hadn't pissed anyone off, at least not this bad. I didn't owe anybody money. And my family certainly wasn't rich. If anyone, if anyone was hoping to get to get a fat ransom payoff for me, they were going to be very disappointed. Obviously, I wasn't some kind of genius, nor was I any Olympic athlete, and I certainly hadn't been chosen by by God to fulfill some great purpose on His Earth. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> well, at least if I was, I didn't know it yet. I started a fight with a uh, with a game. Okay, okay, look, so <laughs> I can't really read uh, the, the top part of that sentence because there's a, there's, a, there's a timer there. And it's, <laughs> it's telling me like the, that, my, that I'm, I'm, I'm done with the recording. So, a mysterious new religion? No. Had I hacked into some, some terrorist group server? No. Had I witnessed an, an assassination? No. 
had gone wasting and had one night stand had a one night stand with the mistress of a prominent politician? Well, yes. But it was just that one time. <laughs> it's really funny, right? <laughs> and she was the one who went after me. <laughs> then who, who you pick up? Anyway, I was just an ordinary college student. If there was a reason I'd been abducted and put into the Narmi game, I'm sh I sure couldn't see it. Why was this happening to me? I thought back to what I'd been, been doing right before I was taken. The memories were still a little blurry, but they were there. We going back to a flashback? We got time for a flashback. All right, all right, hold on. We, we don't have time for this. <laughs> um, so, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to save it here, guys. I really have, we've been playing for almost four hours now. In this one, in this one recording. Um, I'm gonna have to like, <laughs> Bridges up into episodes, I guess. That, that, that was the original plan, anyway. So, alright guys, that's gonna be it for today. Or for this session. I'm liking this so far. Man, I thought I could trust Alice, that bitch. But, oh well. We gotta keep going. Whatever happens from here on out is something... Is whatever, whatever, man. So, I only got like a minute left. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you drop a like, you know, the return of the, Nor the Norway Games Zero Escape. Drop a like if you're into that. Uh, hit the bell and notify whenever I drop new videos. Hit subscribe so you can see whenever I whenever I drop new episodes of Norway Game of, of Zero Escape or Resident Evil or you know anything else I have my play. Check out my social media links in the description down below. And with that being said, I'm excited to be back on the Nor on the Norway Game. I hope you all are too. And with that being said, to the event night. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.